Another deadly shooting at a school in the United States, this time in the state of Oregon, just outside Portland. A gunman identified by police as a student at the school killed another student before being found dead by police. Chris Casquejo joins us live with more on this story. Chris. Elaine, it is a much calmer scene here outside Reynolds High School. You can still notice a bit of a police presence as they continue their investigation after a gunman opened fire in these halls several hours ago. Now, this happened around 8 o'clock this morning as students settled in for their last day of classes. So why quickly started surrounding the school as students evacuated with their hands in the air. Just a little over an hour after the shooting started, police announced that the lone gunman was dead. Unfortunately, we had a very tragic incident this morning at Reynolds High School. One student is deceased as a result of a lone gunman who entered the school. The lone gunman was also deceased at the scene. We are in the process of notifying the next of kin for both. I can tell you that the weapon that was used is a rifle. This society has not been willing to take some basic steps to, uh, to keep guns out of the hands of uh, you know, people who you know, can, uh, can do just unbelievable damage. We're, we're, the only society, we're the only developed country on earth where this happens. And it happens now once a week. President Obama making his comments at the White House this afternoon. Again, to recap, one student dead, the gunman also dead, a teacher with minor gunshot wounds. Elaine? And Chris, obviously terrifying, but what has been the mood of the parents and students there near Portland? Well, it was very tough for the parents. They were shuttled to a nearby grocery store where they had to wait for the students to clear the school for about an hour. So you can imagine that wait was an agonizing one. Elaine? All right, Chris Casquejo, live outside Portland from the state of Oregon.